And I got ready that fast. I showered and I'm in a dressier outfit for Chloe, so. Yeah, I will not be eating, but he will be. So we're at Shake Shack and he got like a bacon burger, cheeseburger or something, some fries and a salted caramel shake. I'm gonna find some healthy little cafe. Salad. I had to change the inside of my legs were chafing and was you know I was dying because all the walking and like I got thighs, you know, so they're rubbing. Oh, this is so much better. I should have done this like this morning. <laughs> So we stopped at this super cute coffee shop called Starbucks, um, dying because I got a venti. And we got some water because hydration is key. And we're in a super cute part of town. Fancy stuff, but I love it. So yeah. Next we're going to the Urban Sales Store. Because that's a must because, you know, Urban regular stores are just freaking Urban everything. Sales Store, I got a couple things. Oh shoot. But now we went to the urban and it was like a ten dollar Uber. So I'm like, let's just like walk a little bit and then like see where we end up. Well we had a pee super bad because we drank like two Trenta drinks, like well like one and a half each, because like I got a water, he got a water and a coffee, you know. So we'd pee so bad. We went to ten, ten, ten different places along a mile walk and did not find a single bathroom until a Starbucks. So we literally walked over a mile, could not find a bathroom, finally found a bathroom after we must pee our pants. And then I was looking at places like around and they have the they have that bone bar place like right there. So we're gonna go try it out. So we got birthday cake gelato with sprinkles and gummy bears and raspberry sauce. 5.45 and we just left the city. We're going to Schaumburg for the night and for tomorrow. Um, Brady just got through traffic in downtown Chicago. So that was an impressive job. I mean, freeway isn't that much better, but. Take exit 43. Um, we just did a lot of shopping. We were kind of exhausted, so we just thought, like, we'll come back and go to the hotel and kind of chill and then probably go get dinner somewhere and call it a day because I'm pooped. Are you pooped? Freaking pooped. It was a fun day, though. We walked about. I don't know how many steps I'm at, but it's well over 20,000, and I'm exhausted. And we did so much shopping, got some good food. It was a fun day. I'm just piecing out to Chicago, come for you, Schaumburg. Oh, look at the skyline. I am obsessed with the city. Skylines are by far my favorite part, though. So, yeah. Ooh, at least we're not coming into the city. The traffic is way freaking worse. We're loving the standstill traffic, are we? I'm exhausted and I just want to get to the hotel. <laughs> How much longer we got? 40 minutes. And there's a lot of red to go. It's going back. We're supposed to get there at 6.30 now. 6 oh, we're eight minutes behind schedule already. All right, guys, it's like seven o'clock. We just got to our hotel, thank God. Um, cute little room we got here. Our view. Our view is not as good as yesterday, but you know, it ain't bad. Another hotel, I got a little pond, we got the nice dumpsters. But yeah, I love Schaumburg. Now, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the past two days of shopping. I spent um, a grand total of too much money, way too much money, but I got some good stuff. Okay, so first, I'm gonna start off with, it's so freaking soft. Like, it's like that seamless, like really, really soft material from Forever 21, and then I got these Jean shorts, not with the chain, that's like separate, but got these at these at Zara for like I don't know, but they're cute. I got this at the Urban Outfitter sales store. These phone cases, like it's like a wildflower, usually like 35 bucks is 10. And I kind of thought the neon vibes were cool, so I picked that up. And I 
just got this red zip up hoodie from H&M is on sale. It's just kind of basic, but like I love these kind of things. I just like super cute and cozy. It's actually kind of cute this outfit. But yeah. I got this skirt from Forever 21. I was wearing it earlier today, but we just had to take that off because I was dying a little bit. And then I kind of have a thing with animal print. Here I was Topshop in um, Nordstrom's because Topshop here closed, but just like a little t-shirt, zebra print, kind of obsessed. And then this one, this was on sale. It's like a mesh kind of like vibe, just like Dalmatian-ish, kind of speckled, I don't know, jaguar or cheetah print, whatever the heck that's called. I don't know. It's cute though. really like it from Topshop again. And then I just got these like scrunchies from H&M because they're really cute and I love cheetah, you know. From the Urban Sales store, I got these purple like striped just like comfy shorts. They were $20 and they were originally, I'm pretty sure, $49.99. So it was a good deal. This is so wrinkly. I slept in this last night. But I just got this shirt from, I want to say Forever 21. Yeah, yesterday. And it just has like a receipt on the back. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but like I thought it was cute. So I grabbed that. Forever 21, I got this super cropped like Ford t-shirt from forever 21 just this t-shirt again wrinkly but yeah just like oversized super cute everyone that i walked 10 miles and 20 2100 steps in these shoes today my feet we're hurt. going to dinner we're going to weber's grill All right yeah looks good we're hungry got on another uh animal print dress so shocker there huh um but yeah we just got back from dinner. It was so good. I had some, like, detox salad, I guess it was called. He had chicken. I don't know. It was really good. Um, but now we're literally just exhausted, so we're just gonna chill and watch some movies. I think Central Intelligence is on, so... <laughs> he makes fun of me for doing that. But, yeah, we're just gonna kind of do that, I think, for the rest of the night. It's, like, only 8.30, but we're so tired, and... I mean, nothing really is open to do right now, so we're just going to chill. It is nice as heck outside. Like, perfect. Like, I could just sit out here all freaking night. Couldn't you? No, I'm not even joking. It's the perfect temperature. I'm obsessed. We are here to get some ice cream. You got bubblegum ice cream. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> oh, it's not. And I got nothing because there's nothing that I wanted in there. Nothing. But he was throwing donuts away in the tray. I was like, that's a waste. Okay. Why do people feel the need to not wear shoes in hotels? That's so gross. Like, it is not that hard to slip on some shoes. Not that hard. You can slip them off. Like, people, come on. Instead of going to Baskin and Robbins, I pre-planned and brought me some Trader Joe's peanut butter pretzels. <laughs> Wake <laughs> up. It's 9.30. I'm going pack another top, so I'm wearing this to the gym. Because I forgot. So our workout lasted like 25 minutes. I did the elliptical for 15 and then did my ab workout and then called it good because I... I was bored on the elliptical and yeah, so. Okay, so I just got ready. I'm kind of just going comfy today because like we have driving and shopping and all that. But we're going to this place called Blueberry Hill, I think. We've eaten there like before a couple years ago and it's like freaking amazing. And I've always wanted to go back and it's here. So we're going to go and then we're going to go shopping. I think we're going to go to Ikea. And then there's two malls and then maybe the outlet mall. Who knows? I don't have that much money, but. <laughs> Peace out. Schomburg, Hilton. Okay, so we were going to go to that Blueberry Hill place, but that happened to be, like, in a different city, <laughs> apparently. Like, 30 minutes, 20 minutes away. So then we were going to go to that Wildberry Pancakes and Cafe. It's a 45-minute wait. So now we're going to this place called the Egg House, right? Uh, yeah. Something like that. I don't know. It'll probably be fine, though. I don't know. We'll look at the menu before we go on, but they don't have a wait. But that could also mean something. I don't know. So we're going to go get some food because we're hungry. It's, like, 11 o'clock. And then I think we're going to go either to the mall or Ikea, whichever one's closer first, and then figure it out from there. Well, hopefully this place is good. <laughs> okay, so that place ended up being so good. Like, I got this skillet. Sweet potatoes, Brussels sprouts, apples, which seems weird, bacon, and then like mozzarella cheese, and then they had two eggs on top. Healthy. <laughs> 
That was so good. Sounds like so weird, but I like love Brussels sprouts and I love sweet potatoes, so I'm like, I'm just gonna try it. So good. He got cinnamon roll French toast. Oh, and I got this like watermelon matcha drink. It was so good. It tasted like watermelon. Like you thought it tasted like watermelon. He would never drink matcha. So it was really good. So trying new things and it turned out good. Uh, and now we're going to Ikea to do some dorm shopping for me. And then I think we're going to head to the mall. And yeah, we made it. Just kind of realized it's Saturday at noon. So it's going to be freaking busy, but... He's up for the challenge, huh? Yay. Okay, so Ikea was a success. I'll show you what I got. I got a bunch of just stuff for my dorm room. But I got this cute little bag. It's massive, actually. It's like a cheetah print. Um, I thought I could use it to like haul stuff in and out of my dorm. Inside, I got a little toilet scrubber thing. I got This is just like a black shelf I thought I could hang up in my room. Um, this is one of those like tall things that you can like put, like fit in your clothes, like shelves. And then I got another bag similar to the one that everything's in, but smaller. And this is my laundry basket. Oh, I got this little food um, container. You can fit like a bunch of stuff in it, and it's just cute and like, I thought that'd be good for like lunches. I got this little desk lamp. It's kind of cool. It's small. And then I got this clock, because our vibe is like blue and like red in our dorm, so I thought it'd be cute. And that's all I got, I think. It's 3.30. I have no idea what time we got there, but I am exhausted. We got some Stan's Donuts. I only got, like, three things. Oh, no, I got four. It's just, like, one of those things, I don't know, from a garage. These I did not try them on, but they were five dollars, so thought they were kind of cute. I got it in green and in white. And then the last thing I got is from the sale rack in Urban because again, can't afford anything full price at that store. And it's just this like oversized, comfy, like weird material crop shirt. So yeah, that's all I got. We're gonna try our Stan's Donuts. Wait for me. At the same time. Yeah, I got a red velvet. Well, we're gonna share them, but. So I got a red velvet, and he got just like a sprinkle glazed donut. But. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be the wise man. Okay, I'll switch. Is it good? Recommend. Would you? What would you rank yours at that time? Um. Mm. With the frosting? Mm. Probably like an eight. And what would you give mine? Like a six. It was just kind of like a donut. What would you rank them? I'd give mine probably an eight. And hers probably a six. Mmm. <laughs> it's like frosting. So good. It's good stuff.